Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about what is size and capacity in the array list. So first thing inside this code, we have two different array list. One is city name of data type string. We have added the elements inside this array list and printed that particular array list. Second array list is roll number, which is of type integer. And we have added the elements of integer type and printed that array list. Now, what is the size and capacity of the array list? So size is nothing but the actual number of elements present inside the array list. So if I want to check the size of this roll number array list, what I need to do, provide the name of array list dot, and then we have the method called size, which will return us the size of this array list. If I run this code, so here I'm getting three, because three elements are present. Let's say I remove one here. What is the size? Size is two, right? If I run this code, so see we are getting here two. Size is used to present the actual number of elements present inside your array list. But what does the capacity means? So capacity basically means the number of elements array list can contain. So the maximum number of elements that array list can contain and that value can be specified here. Let's say I provide here 20. So if I provide here 20, so this array list can contain the 20 values. But what if I entered the 21st value? So if I entered the 21st value, then the capacity will be increased. Like it will by default increase. It will not show you an error, but it will increase internally. So the capacity will always be greater than your size. Let's say you have provided here the capacity as 2. And if you don't provide any value here, okay. Now you have just your array list roll number which is of capacity 2 and here you have printed the size of row number. So what will be the output in this case? So the output is 0. Why? Because size represents the actual number of element present inside this list. There are no elements currently present here. The capacity is 2 but we haven't provided any values here. That's why the size is 0. Now if I provide here the values roll number dot add 1 roll number dot add so see here the size is 2 and capacity is also 2 here we have provided 2 here what if I add the third element here so roll number dot add 3 now let's run this code so here we are getting size as 3 so even though we have provided the capacity 2 then we are providing the third value internally the capacity of this array list will be increased there is no predefined method in the array list class that returns the capacity of the array list here we can return the size of array list but we can't return the capacity of the array list by using a predefined method this is basically the concept of size and capacity inside the array list so in simple words you can always answer to this question as size basically represents the actual number of values available inside this array list and capacity represents the maximum number of values that can be stored inside this array list. But the capacity can be increased internally when the capacity is pulled by the actual number of elements present inside that list. I hope you have understood the difference between size and capacity of the array list. That's it in this video. We will cover another topic in next video. Thank you for watching.